Hello, I'm Freezing Inferno, and welcome to week 8 of the Let's Play Summer Games. The final week! And the game I've chosen is... Super Goddamn Ghouls and or Ghosts. Oh no! Oh no! What have I done?! Well, let's take this busy time to talk about the Let's Play Summer Games one last time. They are inspired by Fat Kakashi's Let's Play Olympics, hosted on SocksMakePeopleSexy.net's Sliders and Socks Forum from February to April of this year. I liked it so much I made my own competition. My own competition, because I'm Irish lad. The Let's Play Summer Games. They've been going on from, like, June to, uh, well... This here's the last of July, and it will go for another week, so into the first week of August. <laughs> so it's been going for two months here, eight weeks of video game fun. And the final week here is no goddamn slouch, it's super ghouls and ghosts. Which I'll talk about a little more in a bit, but I have some other competition-related shit to talk about. We haven't made it with our original contestants. Now, four people are out. Four of our ten contestants have officially bowed out. Now, we had two in previous weeks, Mr. Dead Crescendo and Decoy Octopus, who, they dropped out like in the Gradius. Three portion, week six, I believe? But then, but then, Donald V2, who was like near the rear in the scores, did not do a Gradius video, and he officially said, yeah, I'm kind of done. Now, that wasn't a big surprise, but the big surprise was Zene Toto, who I have devoted countless minutes of commentary to and am doing it one last time here. He's out. He he dropped out. And the reason he dropped out is because his leukemia came back. Good God. If any of you people watching believe in various religious deities, please pray for that man. So... With the former silver medal winner gone in week six, I took the silver. And now with the former gold medalist out due to illness, I am winning my own goddamn contest by default. What is that? Good lord. So I'm in first place. Now I should mention these scores are tentative since I've got five of seven chapters of scores as I record this. So, I'm in first, Chronomaniac in second place, and uh, we've got a tie for third between the old Sunburst Baser and uh, Captain Cappy. So, that may be the way it goes. I don't know if one of those will surpass the other, but it looks like a Chrono and either Sunburst or Captain Cappy. Any combination of those three are going to be the winners. Well, the Sarge Mary, Mary, but maybe they'll uh, come back. <laughs> maybe they'll beat me this week. I don't know. I don't know. Alright. I think it's finally time we talk about the elephant in the room. Super Ghouls and Ghosts. Super Ghouls and Ghosts is part of my, I like to call it unofficially, the Unholy Trilogy of Video Games. These are video games that I am never, ever, 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 ever going to beat legit in my lifetime. The other two games, if you were wondering, are Battletoads and the first Ninja Turtles game on the NES. Hard as fuck video games. Super Ghouls and Ghosts is no exception. It's fucking notorious. It's ridiculous, it's difficult, and by God, it's a guilty pleasure. That's why I picked it, because really it's like a guilty pleasure. I kind of like it for some godless reason. Maybe I like the psychological torture. Maybe I'm so sadistic. Oh, shit like that. Look at that. Oh, you have your best armor, but you get hit once and you're fucking into your boxers, man. But not for long, because I got my armor. Iron armor back, or whatever. Steel armor, let's call it. So I beat level 1 without dying, which is no mean feat, I tell you. That took a bit. You gotta play this game a little bit before you uh, beat level 1 without dying. Now we've come to level 2, the ship graveyard. Which is almost as cool as that dungeon in Final Fantasy V. Like, the second dungeon of the game is a ship graveyard, and it's a really cool dungeon. Surpassed only by the ghost manor in Dragon Quest V as one of the best early dungeons in an RPG. So basically what I'm saying is haunted places are the best places to start your video game RPG dungeons. 
Game designers take note. Ha! As if game designers are watching me. <laughs> God damn! Super Ghouls and Ghosts really brings out the worst to me. It's almost like F Zero. Oh my! Especially when you get to later levels, it's just. Uh, uh. But I have a pretty good handle of these early stages so far. If I got like, if you plunked me down in level four, which I haven't played in a good uh, two years, I'd be kind of screwed. I mean, this game is hard as hell. You've got jumping that's really tricky, kind of like Castlevania jumping, where once you've committed to it, that's it. You either land or you die. You've got weapons that are tough to kill these enemies with, enemies that move in erratic patterns, and then the best surprise, which I'm not even going to mention. <laughs> oh god, but I've encountered it, and it's nasty. It happens when you beat the game. But I've made it to uh, I've made it through a level and a half without dying. I've been hit, but I've not been dead, and I've got my lovely rapid-fire throwing daggers that Arthur keeps in his boxes because, well, it's cool. Yes, I'm King Arthur. I'm gonna save what was her name, Glenda. I don't even know what the missing princess's name is. I frankly don't care. I'm sorry, Olive. <laughs> this is a guilty pleasure, and it's like. You all saw it coming a mile away. Helzeni Toto, like, he fucking called it. He did make a Week 7 video. I'm, I'm talking about that guy again. He did make a Week 7 video, and at the end he's like, Man, I hope we gain the Super Cool because I love the game. But yeah. He might be sad that he's not participating due to illness, but oh well. Let's, let's, let's talk about this video game now. As we're like... Not even halfway through this video yet, just about seven and a half minutes. Getting points is important, by the way, because more points equals more lives equals more chances of this limited continue video game. I think the I I, don't, I swear to God, I think the money bags have something to do with it. I was playing this not long ago. I got a whole lot of money bags and I died. I got a game over. And at the continue screen, it both counts your money bags and it said credit eight. So it's like, okay, I don't know how to fuck I dodge that. But I did. I obviously didn't dodge that one, but that was just a miracle. But so I think the money bags, like you get like a bunch, and it gives you uh, an extra continue, maybe. Uh, would a super ghouls and ghosts expert please tell me what the deal with that is? I'm sure there's one of you out there. There's a million sort of people out there. Oh. Ugh. This is harrowing, I tell you, fucking auto scroll, and you're on a fucking raft, and there's fishmen coming at you, and these fishmen don't fuck around. Nothing in this game fucks around. Super Ghouls and Ghosts is meticulously designed to fuck you up. Oh, but that's nice. I got I got an extra hit back. I got my iron armor back. Oh, that's a lot of good. Uh, yeah. I don't know why I'm talking in a voice now. Lord knows, I think I think we've had enough silly voices in this competition. That that's bringing up a certain person again. But... I really wonder how far people are going to make it. Are they? I have good faith that somebody is going to beat level one besides me. Even though it looks pretty goddamn tricky. And I bet like the people who quit. Minus a certain someone are like, Oh, I'm so glad that I'm out of this because fucking super cool to go so <laughs> Man, next in a week I'm gonna be awarding the prize. I wonder what the prize will be. But why would I wonder? I know what the goddamn prize is. I like saying it like that. Prize. And now we've got the ugly barnacle. I knew an- I gotta tell you a story about the barnacle. Once upon a time, I knew an ugly barnacle. He was very ugly, and then he died. The end. I don't like this boss, and I really wish I had my, uh... What is it? Green armor? Oh! Shit! Green armor. Bronze armor. Mad- not- The green shit, because then I have laser daggers. And laser daggers tear this guy apart before he can even launch his, uh... Torpedo fish. Ugh. 
I hated them in Donkey Kong Country and I hate them here. <laughs> Please don't torpedo me in the face. Oh god, no. Oh no, that was that was just pimp. This is this is scary. This is Willie Bake it. Willie Wonty, oh yeah. I am palpitating like a motherfucker. Yeah! That is a fucking win. I beat two stages of this game without dying. But we still got five minutes left, and we're descending into hell. Quite literally. Hey, look at this. We've got the fucking machines and lava pits and giant fire bears oh my god and these little imps are really annoying right just gotta keep going and spawn certain chests because lord knows ah there we go now i've got my laser daggers back yeehaw get ready to get rocked in the face by magical laser da are you shitting me God damn fire imps. Oh, how I hate thee. Let me count the ways. One, you're annoying. Two, you're annoying. Three, you're annoying. Four, you're motherfucking annoying. That's four ways. That's at least four goddamn ways I hate fire imps. Fuck. God damn it. Alright, let, let, let's turn down the vitriol a little here. We're getting past the fire imp portion of the stage. And now we're getting to the precise platforming section of the stage, which is pretty goddamn difficult because, again, once you commit to a jump, that's it. You're either landing on one of these little stone pillars, or you're falling to your death. Now this is just sickening. Look at this. Oh my god. Oh my god. We've got drippy blood spiky conveyor belts. That's just nasty. I wonder why these things are green. I, I really gotta wonder that. It's pretty crazy. And now we're coming to the best thing. The thing that makes those fire imps look like candy. Red Aramur! <laughs> Isn't this guy just a champ? Oh. And there we go. We get disintegrated and we die. Because that's what happens to Super Ghosts and Ghosts. You die! And you die! And you die! And just to liven things up, YOU FUCKING DIE! So let's try that level again in the uh, two minutes or so we have left. Maybe we'll even get back to that red armor. Yeah, red armor is one of the worst video game enemies. Worse than Ninja Gaiden birds, even! Oh, that's right. I went there. Worse than Ninja Gaiden birds. Worse than Rocket Pack Ninjas? Worse than anything you faced in Ninja Gaiden. And I am gonna kill that stupid guy this time so he doesn't fuck up my jump and take away my laser daggers. I want to laser dagger that red armor in his stupid, dumb face. That's exactly what I want to do. So that is what I'm going to do. Alright. We're gonna get through here. Fire rims. I've counted all the ways I hate you. There are at least four. Wait, I thought of another reason. Five! They're annoying! There you go. That's another reason to hate it. Wait, I shouldn't be bitching, because I... I've died once, but I really shouldn't be bitching. I, I don't... I feel I don't have much of a right to complain, because I'm doing rather well. But they are really a bad enemy, and you're not going to like them. Other contestants, you're not going to like them at all. Trust me on this. Okay, we've got a minute left. And we're almost back at old Red Armor. So that's something. All right, me... Let's just keep jumping. No complaining, because you're doing well, and that's like first world problems or something. There's going to be a lot of people who's probably going to struggle and suffer this game, but by oh God, you're going to fight a red armor, and you're going to... Oh, you're going to lose your laser knives. That's what you're going to do. Oh, we dodged every one of those. Fucking... Ah! Oh, I killed him. <laughs> well, that, got, that was really lucky. But now I'm running around in my boxers, and I don't think I could survive this level, but all I have to do is survive for 20 more seconds, and that'll be the end of the Let's Play Summer Games for me, anyway. Or, for me? Well, not really, because I still have to, like, distribute the prize. Ooh. 
Come down to the wire on Spinny Towers. Kind of ripped straight out from Mickey Mania. And time! Alright. I've been Freezing Inferno. This has been the Let's Play Summer Games. And I will see you next time for them. Until then, everybody.